Before moving further in this course, let's understand the use of main files and folders of the Nest.js project. This will simply give you a brief idea of what each file is used for in the Nest.js project. And let's start with this package.json file. This package.json file is the most important file of any Node.js project. And since Nest.js is built on top of Node.js, for Nest.js projects also, this package.json is the most important file. This file is the heart of any Node.js project. And this file contains metadata about your project. For example, it contains the project name, the version, the author of the project, then all the dependencies and dev dependencies. Then it also lists scripts for common tasks like starting the development server, running tests and building the project. For example, here you can see the name of the project, version of the project. You can also specify some description for this project, author, the license used by this project. Then here you can see some scripts. So for example, this is the script for building your Nest.js project. This is the script for starting your Nest.js project. This script will start the Nest.js project in watch mode. This script will start the Nest.js project in both debug and watch mode. Okay, and this script will start the Nest.js project from dist folder because when this Nest.js project will be compiled, the TypeScript code which we have written for this Nest.js application that will be compiled to JavaScript code and that generated compiled JavaScript code will be available in this folder. So when we want to run our application in production mode, it is going to execute that JavaScript file which is generated in this folder. Okay. In the same way, we also have other scripts. Then we also have dependencies. So on which third party libraries our project is dependent on that is listed here. For example, this Nest.js project, it is dependent on this library. It is dependent on Nest.js slash co. It is dependent on Nest.js slash platform express. It is dependent on RxJS and it is dependent on this package as well. Then for the Nest.js project, we are also going to use some third party libraries during our development process. So for example, we have seen this Nest.js CLI. So using this Nest.js CLI, we created this Nest.js project. So this is the development dependency for our Nest.js project. In the same way, we also have other development dependencies, which you can see here. For example, we have this ESLint, ESLint config prettier. Okay, so these are the development dependencies. These are not required for running our Nest.js application. These development dependencies helps us enhance our development process. Okay, so package.json files store all the information about your Nest.js project. Then we also have another file called tsconfig.json file. Now this tsconfig.json file, it is a configuration file for TypeScript. In this file, we specify the settings for TypeScript compiler. For example, we can set the target for the JavaScript version to which the TypeScript code should be compiled to. We can specify the module system. We can specify the output directory and many more things. So this tsconfig.json file, it is a configuration file for the TypeScript compiler where we specify the configuration for TypeScript compiler. Then we have this git igno file. Now this file specifies the files and directories that should be ignored by git version control. And it helps keep your repository clean by excluding built artifacts, sensitive information and large files. Then we also have this nestcli.json file. So this file is specific to Nest.js projects and it contains configuration options for Nest CLI, such as the default application path and generator options. So this file, it is a configuration file for your Nest.js project. Rest of the files in the root directory can be ignored. They're not that important. For example, we have this eslintrc.js and prettier rc. So these are basically the configuration files related to eslint and prettier. But we don't need to worry about them. Okay. Now in the root directory, we also have some folders like this dist folder, node modules folder, source folder and test folder. 
this source folder is the most important folder of this nest.js project and we will talk about it in a bit now this test folder here this is the directory which contains the unit and integration tests for your nest.js application so inside this folder you're going to write the unit test and integration test for your nest.js application okay then we have this test folder this folder will contain the compiled javascript files after building your nest.js project so we learned that we are going to write typescript code in our nest.js project when that typescript code will be compiled it is going to generate some javascript code in a javascript file so that javascript file will be generated inside this dist folder as you can see when we compiled this project inside this dist folder the corresponding js files are generated okay so for app module ts an app module js file has been generated for app controller.ts an app controller.js file has been generated so this dist folder is going to contain all the compiled javascript code and then we also have this node modules folder this node modules folder is going to store all the packages all the dependencies which we are using for our nest.js project okay finally let's talk about this source folder so this source folder is the most important folder and it is this folder inside which you as a developer will be spending most of your time so all the code which you're going to write we are going to write it inside this source folder inside this source folder you will see some files so let's start with app module.ts file now this file is the root module of your application it imports and exports other modules components and providers think of this file as the main blueprint of your application so remember that in nest.js we segregate our code using modules and each module is going to import and export components providers services etc then we have this app controller.ts file this file defines the main controller of your application controller handles incoming request and it returns responses and since we are going to create a server side application using nest.js whenever a request will be made to our nest.js application first it will come to this app controller and from there that request will be handled it might be sent to some other controller but every time whenever a request will be made to our nest.js application first it will come to app controller okay and from there it will be handled and this app controller is also responsible for sending the response in this example if you see whenever a request will be made to our nest.js application that request is going to be handled by this get hello method so this get hello method is going to receive that request and for that request it is going to send a response and what response it is going to send it is going to send a response which this get hello method of this app service is going to return then we also have this app service.ts file this file contains the core business logic of your application this is where you implement the application's core functionalities now remember that in your nest.js application you can have multiple modules you can have multiple controllers and you can have multiple services but this app service.ts it is a service it is the main service of your nest.js application which is going to implement the core business logic of your application in the same way in the app module.ts it is going to be the main module of your nest.js application and this app controller.ts it is the main controller of your nest.js application which is responsible for handling the request and sending the response finally we have this main.ts file this main.ts is the entry point of your nest.js application so whenever you compile and run your nest.js application this is the first file which is going to be executed and in this file what we are doing is we are bootstrapping our application and we are starting this server okay so we are bootstrapping this app module from this main.ts file and from there everything will be started and then we are also starting our server and listening for requests on port number 3000 so main.ts 
is the main file of nest.js application which gets executed. So these are some of the important files and folders of a nest.js application and we will understand more about these files and folders in our coming lectures when we will start using them. So this was a very high level overview of the use of each file in the nest.js project. Now from the next lecture, we are going to start working on this nest.js project which we have created and we are going to handle different types of requests which we are going to receive on our nest.js application. This is all from this lecture. Thank you for listening and have a great day.